Sinner has a tiny role in Julius Caesar. He's in a scene that's 37 lines long. In that scene, he is mistaken for somebody else called Sinner. Not Sinner the poet, but Sinner the conspirator. He's mistaken for Sinner the conspirator by the mob. Uh, even though he says he's not Sinner the conspirator, the mob don't believe him and they tear him to pieces. Sinner's death is about the, con the conspiracy, the danger of Caesar becoming an, an, an overall uh, leader, becoming a tyrant, uh, the decision, the conspirators to kill him, the death of Caesar, uh, the, um, the fallout of the death of Caesar. And then we see the fallout of all these things through the eyes of just a humble, ordinary, everyday guy who's in the wrong place at the wrong time and suffers for it. Without the sinner scene, Julius Caesar would not have, I think, the depth of perspective that it does have. Uh, so it's exciting to think about uh, how he would respond to the events that were in the world that he was living in and how he might respond to the events that happened after his death. It's being written for ages sort of 11 plus, uh, and the intention uh, is that every audience member, when they come to sit down and watch the show, will have a piece of paper and a pen. And in addition to hearing Sinner's story, will also at times be encouraged to write. So I would hope that every audience member who sees this show, both in live performance and also through a, a, a live streaming of a filmed version to every secondary school in the country, will also get a chance to write and to think about how one can express oneself in relation to social upheaval or crisis, uh, in relation to, uh, to the political situation that one's in, or relation to power or powerlessness. Uh, so my hope is that eventually thousands of poems get written and a sort of database is created full of thousands of thousands of poems inspired by Sinner the Poet's story.